We are gonna start off with the wine that I feel like you should be starting your evening with. And this is the 2020 White Pinot Noir. It is very high acid. It's got a lot of white flower and aromatics uh, sense to it. In thinking about what I wanted to pair with this wine, I wanted to take into account the fact that a lot of times when you have friends over and you wanna start the evening, you don't necessarily want a big, appetizer to start off with. So I made some pretty simple uh, yogurt and lemon covered almonds. It's a very, very easy recipe with minimal ingredients. The fattiness from the almonds goes really, really well with the acid on this wine. And then because it's coated with that lemon and a little bit of citric acid, it's not gonna overpower the acid in the wine, but it's actually gonna tone it down a little bit, <laughs> which is sometimes, Sometimes it can be a little aggressive as the first thing you put in your mouth. Um, so I have these beautiful almonds here. Again, the recipe is so, so easy. Having a little snack to welcome your guests when they come into the door right away uh, is something that I always love to have when I'm throwing a party. You never know how long your guests have traveled to get to your, uh, your house or where the event's taking place. So I just wanna make sure that they are well fed as soon as they walk in the door, uh, which is why I really gravitated towards doing something that you can make ahead of time and keep in your cupboard for I don't know, a week, two weeks. <laughs> it's a really great snack to have around the house too. It's pretty healthy. This lemon powder is a really special ingredient. You can very easily get it online. It is just freeze dried lemons. So it includes the pith and the flesh. And that's really important too because you don't want it to be too sweet having just the flesh. Uh, otherwise you're gonna have some sweet mixed nuts. So the fact that it has the pith in there too really brings out kind of this bitterness too and rounds out the citrus flavor that complements the 2020 Pinot Noir really, really well. So my favorite part of this recipe is actually when you get to toss the mixed nuts in a little bit more lemon powder and citric acid, probably because you get to use a really cute little strainer like this <laughs> and make it rain or snow, whatever you're thinking. <laughs> The more you put on the mixed nuts, the more sour flavor you're gonna get. Um, but again, you really don't wanna overpower the wine that already has a, a lot of acid in it. So we've got these beautiful mixed nuts here. We made it snow <laughs> with a little bit more lemon powder. And that lemon's gonna just go really, really great with the stone fruit flavors in this wine. 